Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh, boys, it's the time to get back to work on this thing. Um, here, we got the AS-16 for it, and we got a few more parts. So here I have a fuel petcock for the gas tank. One of the, just a new piece, because the one that uh, was in there was actually the tank out of Chuck Scooter, and it was having some issues with the petcock. So, got the petcock here. Got an oil pump delete plug thing for in here, which I think I'm going to have to figure out a little mounting bracket to make sure that thing stays down. Um, we got a jab tail, of course, the necessity on the Elite, a must on any Elite, honestly, because this US style one, even with the one that comes on my SB50, like the uh, 89 Elite style one, um, I think people call them like the Elite E's as well, but um, had to get the jab tail. Um, it just makes the bike look so cleaner. So this is what it looks like US with the JDM Model 1. It's just so flush, it looks so good. Changes the whole rear end of the bike. JDM tail, of course from your boys over at Scooter Swap Shop, and I got some OEM piston rings. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and throw this motor together right now. Smooth. Shee! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing it all together now. All right, time to go ahead and get this manifold on there now. And I'm gonna clean this car out. Oil, oil pump uh, delete plug right here too. Make like a little metal thing to hold it down in there. So just like it bolts down and pushes it all the way in just to make sure it stays in. Dude, the amount of straight up oil that just came out of this carburetor is concerning. Like how much oil. They had the oil pump and the oil tank was full, but it's like, I can't even describe the amount of oil that came out of this thing. All right, so I found this bracket for my 1JZ um, that I'm gonna cut up and make as like a little uh, plug safety push down bracket. Alright, so this is what we're looking like, and basically my theory is, once this thing goes in, I'm going to put some Honda Bond on it yet, so, then I'm going to go ahead and, boom, like that. So this will bolt up to the block, and then I'm going to drill a hole in this, and be able to just uh, put that right on too. Put some Honda Bond on this, and put it in there now. Plugs in there, about to drill this thing out right now. So now this one lines up with the nut behind it. We don't like air leaks out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some Honda Bond around here. Put that piece I just made back on, is the final piece. And then uh, tighten her down. She's on there, she's in there. All right, I'm about to uh, throw the shrouds on now, and then I'm probably gonna go ahead and put this thing in the bike. All right, wheels on, new plugs in, manifolds on there, carbs clean, carbs on there. Pretty much everything is ready just to be thrown in. Yeah. Alright boys, she's in there. I just pretty much got to put the exhaust on. I'm going to run the stock exhaust now just because I want to feel the bike completely stock. So stock exhaust and then eventually we'll put on that S the S23 pipe I have over here um, when I probably go 70k or we mess around with just trying to tune this bike up. So like I said, I had to get a new petcock. Here's one that just came out of the tank. It literally didn't even have a filter on it. 
Got a new boy right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the JDM tail swap now. So just took off the rear tail light and um, just gonna cut it right here back at the cliff. Cut them back here and go ahead and put the JDM tail in. You have to use different connectors for the JDM tail, as you can tell. JDM tail, as you can tell. Because those connectors are like that. All right, I just went through and changed all the connectors um, to go into here. Leave this one at the clip so you can still unplug it. Same with these, now they're at the clip. Um, so you can just unplug them from here and not have to go to the back of the tail light every time. But it does make it where these are clipped, so. That's just how it goes, boys. But so I actually took all the lenses off because it was scary to push these connectors on to like the little prongs really hard and not push it through the backside. So I took the bulbs out and I was like pushing on those back pieces of the plugs itself so they didn't push all the way through. I'm gonna throw the lenses on and bolt it up and it should be good to go now. All right, tail lights in there, it's all plugged in. Everything's wire-wise is uh, ran over here. I just need to put the fuel tank on and then plug that in. Uh, Dattery's, Dattery, batteries dead as can be. But tail light. So. All right, so just messing around, getting it running. It definitely likes the stock airbox. I was trying to mess with it without the airbox on and realized that was my problem the whole time. So, got it super crispy right now. So I'm about to go ahead and put the seat on and give this thing a go, try this thing out. God, it's so windy out here. Pumping up the tires right now. Should be good. I'm just gonna pop it up right now. How do you even like. Am I supposed to give it gas and pop it up? Well, you're not gonna go with it. That shit's fucking hard. Damn, the brake light works though. Sheesh. Alright, boys, that's gonna do it for this video. We got the Elite running. It's back. It's 50cc stock piece. And uh, next video, we're gonna go ahead and throw on this S2 three pipe and see um, a little bit more about the power. Definitely got to do a little bit more uh, messing around with this scooter, get it running right, because as you could tell just in those clips we just did, it was just so slow, like, it was just not. I barely messed with the car, but just got started. I just want to make sure it ran, it started, everything was good. Stay tuned for the next video, because we're going to get a lot more on this thing, a lot more wheelies, a lot more riding, and put on this pipe and uh, see what this 50 can really do. So uh, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.